It is a word that central banks and political leaders are looking to avoid. Recession. And investors and executives say it is a real risk, especially in Europe. If Ukraine gets worse, I would assume that Europe's going to go to recession. It may take a couple of quarters, but I would assume that. It does look like the, the recession risk is, is very high. There is a good probability for that. If I have to really guess, I would say 50-50, you know. I think that we, we're pretty close to recession through this year. The danger of a recession has loomed into view as the Eurozone economy faces strong headwinds. Persistent high inflation, the ongoing war in Ukraine, and the worsening energy crisis tied to it. The impact of energy on the European economy will be substantial. The ECB says economic figures currently don't suggest the war in Ukraine has pushed the euro area into recession. But officials have acknowledged that, while well, growth risks have increased substantially. The war in Ukraine is severely affecting the euro area economy and has significantly increased uncertainty. Central bank officials are still determined to press on with normalizing monetary policy, with many holding out the possibility of a first interest rate increase in July. The central bank remains optimistic it can deliver an exit from crisis-era stimulus to cool record inflation. There are doubts, though, that the central bank can avoid a recession or that dreaded stagflation, which has little growth with high inflation. With Europe so close to the war, countries supporting Ukraine and sanctioning Russia damage their own economies as well. Germany has already significantly cut its growth forecast for this year, saying it is at risk of shrinking nearly 2% if the war escalates and could be tipped into recession by further sanction packages against Russia. European factories are signaling distress amid record prices and a stubborn supply squeeze, aggravated by strict lockdowns in China. Europe is facing pressures from all sides, leaving investors on watch for whether they will push an already fragile economy into recession.